it's Ben Sekarach here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of my PowerSpec Ultra 3D printer. So I picked this up at Micro Center for 900 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. It has Wi-Fi in it, so you can connect to it with Wi-Fi from the computer. And it also has a USB cable. It looks pretty nice. It has a 9x6 inch build plate. It came as one piece. It's not a kit. It has dual extruders. And it has very strong NEMA 7P motors. It, it has end stops, and inside there's blue LED lights. And for the bed, I haven't cleaned it in a while, but I recommend Build Tack on it. It's a stronger build platform than than using just the standard Captain tape. And this, it also has a capacitive touchscreen. Print you can print off an SD card. Or it has a hard drive in that remembers your last few prints, like that. You can print off the SD card, or which goes over here by the power connector. Or you can print off the hard drive and it remembers your last couple prints. It's also a preheat menu, so it will start heating before you print like that and then you can go in there's a preheat menu so you can go and heat before you print something you don't have to but in case you want to get it ready for something we're going to go into tools and to load and unload your filament you press the filament button and you can see how it loads it unloads the filament from the left and right extruders. You can level the bed. You can do home, which goes into the home position. Well, in the software, you can control the color of these LED lights. Home. Um, change the temperature. It has a max temperature of 450 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also a manual button. There's also a manual button to adjust each axis individually. Like I'm um, lowering is the axis. Or you can do X axis, move the extruder. X plus, move the Y. And then if you go back to the menu, you have the settings. You change the language. Uh, you do a factory reset, fan on and off. Wi Fi settings, up, update the software and firmware in the pulley settings. There's also a status, which will tell you the temperatures of everything. Uh, and positions of the motor. You can go into the about, and it will tell you all about the printer. Um, then go back to the main menu, that's pretty much it. So it was a very good view, I really like this printer, it has very extremely high quality print. Uh, it has an acrylic door with a handle, acrylic side panels, um, and it has extremely good quality prints. So hopefully I'll be doing a time lapse video soon, but for now, tech news.